this is how we want to be viewed by the world. This is the image we want to broadcast. And when you peel that back, when you let somebody see what's under the shell, the rawness of it, it's so much more appealing and so much more engaging and so much more human. We're gonna get so good at paying creators. Within 10 years, kids graduating high school and college are gonna think of being a creator as just being an option. I could be a doctor, I could be a lawyer, I could be a podcaster, I could have a webcomic. Like, it's just gonna be something you can do. Make it raw, not perfect. This was a really important lesson for me. Early on, I spent six months working on an album. It was four tracks. Six months, I worked on four tracks. I polished and polished and polished and perfected and just did so much work on this record. I must have spent thousands and thousands of hours working on this record. This is like over a decade ago. And like nothing happened from that. Nobody cared about it. Like nobody cared. I remember it getting literally like three plays a day on MySpace. Then Pomplamoose uploaded a video in 24 hours once. Lady Gaga came out with a song called Telephone and Natalie and I decided, okay, let's cover Telephone. Stop calling, stop And it was not perfect. It was raw and it was just whatever we could do in 24 hours. That video now has 10 million views. And I, I keep learning that lesson over and over again. And I contrast that experience with like polishing this record for six months. It's still hard for me to like come to terms with that. The polish doesn't necessarily make it better. And in fact, a lot of times polish makes things worse. There's an element of that about like rock and roll. There's something about rock and roll and the rawness of it and the realness of it. Hearing somebody's voice crack and hearing somebody scream and hearing somebody be human. That just really attracts other human beings. Scary Pockets the other day, um, did we recorded a track. We do live takes. It's like six people in a room, pre-pandemic, recording funk music together. If you flub a note, it's in the recording. And in the middle, the singer forgot the lyric. Try to fix you. <laughs> and instead of cutting, we just kept going. And we liked the take, so we put it out. We put out the take and the singer laughs and guess what all the YouTube comments were? Oh my God, that laugh was the most incredible things. It's so great to see real people making real music together. All the comments were about this one moment of rawness, this one moment of vulnerability. Courage, it's from the Latin word cur, meaning heart. And the original definition was to tell the story of who you are with your whole heart. Brene Brown gives this amazing talk, talking about the importance of vulnerability, of letting other people see your humanity. Being turned down, asking someone out, waiting for the doctor to call back. This is the world we live in. We live in a vulnerable world. And when you peel that back, and when you let, see somebody, when you let somebody see what's under the shell, the rawness of it, it's so much more appealing and so much more engaging and so much more human. And it makes you feel less alone as a person watching this video. And again, I just keep learning that lesson over and over again, making something raw, making some, letting people see the human side of you, letting people see you be trying your best. And like, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And like, we're all people just like going for it. That is so inspiring to folks. I came to realize that we live in a world right now where people on, on social media, and it doesn't matter what, which one, it's always trying to give a vision of perfect lives. And this is what Instagram is about. I'm skinnier, I'm full of Photoshop. The moment that you are not like that, the moment people is going to reward you for that. I, I think so. We're, we're constantly trying to show the best part of ourselves. And like people respond to vulnerability. You know, people respond to like seeing another real person. People, it makes people feel less alone when you see another person who's like doing their best. What I've started to do over the last five, six years really is I'm, I'm like trying to not exercise my impulse to make things perfect. I'm trying to deliberately put something out like when I feel like it's 80% good enough. <laughs> um, 
because I know that if I let it get to 95% or 100%, it's actually gonna be, I'm gonna scrub all the joy out of it. I'm putting things out like before I'm comfortable with them on YouTube now. That, that stuff connects. It just, it just connects with people. It's, it makes people wanna share what they're, what they're experiencing. To fix you. <laughs>